Hello there Fit Golfers, my name is Carolina and I'm the Fit Golfer Girl and this week I'm going to be showing you the best exercises that you can do to increase your distance with just bands. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up and bring the driving range to your home with one of Rocket Sports Nets. Click the link in the description to get 15% off. Let's get started! Increasing our swing speed will be the key to gaining distance at the golf course. But in order for this to happen, we must learn the ability to disaccelerate the club safely after impact. The following anti-rotation exercises will allow our bodies to build the tools necessary for this to happen. For the following pal-off press, hold on to an anchored band and walk it out until it provides enough resistance. Start with your arms on your chest and extend them out until you feel your abs working hard to keep you in place. Increase the difficulty of the exercise by narrowing your stance, using a heavier band, moving further away from the anchor point and incorporating a hold with your arms extended. Repeat facing the opposite direction. Next up, we got tight turns. For this exercise, you will begin in the same position as the pal of press, but instead you will be rotating your stretched out arms away from the band's anchor. I recommend a powerful rotation outwards and a slow and controlled return. You will feel your abs working the entire time. Repeat facing the opposite direction. This simple plank with row will help you work on your core stability, strength and your anti-rotation skills. Make sure that your hips are even and that they are in swaying or moving from side to side. Maintain your abs tight and your back should feel absolutely no discomfort at any point. Repeat on the other side. Proper glute activation, strength, and hip movement is essential to generate faster swing speeds that will allow us to hit the ball further at the golf course. The following exercises will teach us just that. Place a mini band around your thighs over your knee. And while maintaining your feet together and laying on your side, you're going to start separating your knees away from each other while maintaining the lower knee pressed against the ground. You will feel this in your glutes after a few reps. Make sure to repeat on the other side. Then go ahead and lay on your back with your knees bent. While pushing through your heels, elevate your hips and contract your glutes at the top. Make sure you're not letting the mini band bring your knees together. Initiating the downswing with your upper body and not shifting your weight properly during the golf swing could be robbing you of some serious distance. The pivot and stick it exercise can help you with this. Hold on to an anchored band with your left hand. Turn your body to wrap the band around your waist. From this position, you're going to focus on fighting the resistance of the band while turning your hips and transferring your weight to the outside leg. Pivot your feet just like you would during the golf swing. Hold the end position before coming back to the start. Make sure you're initiating the movement with your hips. Repeat on the other side. All right, fit golfers, that's it for this week. If you want me to be your golf fitness coach, click the link in the description or check out the Fit Golfer Girl blog to learn more about my online golf fitness training programs. Follow me on social media, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you have any questions, send me an email at fitgolfergirl at gmail.com. See you guys next week. Mwah.